Let's pump. Uh, uh, here we come. Uh. Now turn your body around. So you're sort of sitting. Ah, oh, you're a hero, Drew. That was fun, man. You should have went in. No way. That was fairly awesome. Yeah, well, I'll take your word for it. Drew's going to need all those caving skills when he gets home, because Hell Stunt number 561 has just kicked in. The furniture's back. Times four. There's four of everything. A special treat to make up for having done without for so long. Hello? Oh, what's going on? Oh, you are kidding. Oh, my God. Denton, you're so evil! I don't believe this. I was thinking what we could do with it all. I think we're going to chuck it all out the back when the others get home. But then again, I don't know if we're allowed to do that. This is a nightmare. This is a joke. I'm going to the ladies' club until I have to be home. This is insane. He's a twisted little man. Ah. Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> How am I supposed to get to my bed? Club. And for some reason, every time the going gets tough, the Hellmates get going for a beer. All except Lee, who's not allowed to drink. He takes to indoor mountaineering instead. Oh, somebody's fried up some spam as well. <laughs> Come into our humble abode, where anything can happen. And I mean anything. Funko, Funko. Funko. Oh, is that it? Hello? It's me. Yeah. Alright, Colin, how are you doing? Yeah, Kay's here, but like I can talk, yeah. Uh no, you don't need to bring nothing, but I don't want to say what they've done because it's quite funny actually. <laughs> you'll be you'll be entertained, Colin, right? I, I couldn't believe it when I walked in. We've got we've got our furniture back though. That's that's all I can say. Nah, nah, that's cool. That's cool. But I'll tell you what, you'll laugh your head off, mate, when you get back. I've just like been thoroughly entertained. I walked in ten minutes ago. Chief oh, mischief maker Andrew Denton even drops by to enjoy his interior decorating. <laughs> good mate. Good. <laughs> you got the furniture back. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah, isn't it great? Yes. <laughs> nobody had this. Nobody had this camera on me when I walked in. I just stood at the front door and laughed. <laughs> you guys um, really should tidy up a bit. This place is a mess. Oh, mate, just walk in. Take, take a walk up onto that table there. And have oh. a, <laughs> that table, no, that one. And look, to, on that and look one. towards the sink. That's the passageway. Now look at the sink area. <laughs> that's, that's what you're reading off tonight. <laughs> oh, I expect better than this. <laughs> this is just shocking. Isn't it? If I ever find the people responsible for this, Colin, so help me. Quadrupling the furniture is one way to make the house seem smaller. Another way is just to make the Hellmates larger. Hell stunt number 906. You have to wear your inflatable suit all weekend. Didn't you used to sit in my garden, Lee? Oh, my God. <laughs> I wonder how they go to the bathroom. I hope they enjoy the suits because this may be the last fun that our Hellmates have. We're tightening the screws in the competition for the last week. Everything will stop. No water, no food, no power. For every generation, there is a chosen one. Who are the chosen ones? He alone will stand against the forces of evil. This is the beginning of a better world for all of us. He is Home of the Great, Sunday on 10. 24 stubbies of beer in a slab. 24 stubbies of beer. Slabs of Carlton Cold are just $25.95 at Innkeeper Bottle Shops now. And when the price of that slab should happen to fall, there'll still be 24 stubbies of beer in all. See your local innkeeper for great slab deals.
You want a bite, mate? Oh, no, thanks, mate. Sure? Look out for the bigger Snickers. It's got an extra bite. Magic Cup noodles aren't only delicious, they come with a handy built-in shovel. Delicious Magic Cup noodles. When you need a little help, just use a little magic. Every cigarette is doing you damage. This is part of an aorta, the main artery from the heart. Smoking makes artery walls sticky and collect dangerous fatty deposits. This much was found stuck to the aorta wall of a smoker, age 32. Every cigarette is doing you damage. Seven thirty Monday on ten Guinness World Records Prime Time. In the house, house, from chaos. This is heaps of fun. It's no secret that Lee and Sandy have been sparring for months, so we've set up a grudge match to let them slug it out. Sandy even lets us in on her special training techniques. <laughs> it's enough to make your hair curl, eh, Joss? games but this is the last week and Sandy's last chance for a bit of public payback. <laughs> Absolutely do. Now all they're going to do is survive one round here and we'll give them sweet fat nothing but more humiliation as they continue to live inside the house from hell. Just got the bell. There we go. All right, we got the bell. <laughs> Come on, climb up guys. <laughs> this, this is serious stuff. These guys have hated each other. I mean, it's been to the point where they haven't been talking. We thought only one way to fairly and squarely sort this out. That is with the boxing match. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Is that it? You up? Can we do the count? Come on. Come on. defensive at the moment. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's got in for the hug, the, the big hug. Take the two on! And they call him Braveheart. More like canvas back. Of course, Lee maintains he was just being a gentleman. Mind you, it's a little late. After months of the boys stirring up Sandy, she's gained a bit of a reputation. There's a chick that always cries. Would that be Sandy? Is that the one that cries all the time? Yeah. yeah and yeah. they showed her on telly going, you're amazing. It's just like a bit of a knob. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, you know, I'm pretty stressed. Had a bad day. I got home this morning and my dog wasn't there. My Sandy's dog, dog Zappa's having emergency surgery and Sandy can't be there. And then I get told I've got to do this dive today. Sandy's personal challenge? To dive with sharks, and it's now or never. Now I just want to show you the mask. Right, okay. Sandy's expected to be her usual chatty self, even underwater. Spread your legs and stick your butt out a bit. Nice look, Sandy. Sandy's dad is on hand for moral support. More than anyone, he knows why Sandy has to make it. This house of hell business, you know, she shouldn't quit because she, she, she does tend to quit if things really get tough. But, uh, and I think she'll reflect on this later and say, I did that. First, Sandy has to overcome her claustrophobia. Really free. 
sticky. Yeah, it's very warm. Very warm. Very claustrophobic. A little bit at first. Well, I hope I can do this. Of course you can. I'm just trembling. Yep, you'll be fine. Sharks are scary. And given a choice, most people would rather view them from a distance. But Sandy has no choice. Like everyone in the house, she's been challenged to face her greatest fear. But hers is twice as bad, claustrophobia and man-eaters. You'll be all right, Sandy. You will, won't you? The sharks at Sydney's Manly Aquarium are some of the biggest you'll find along our coastline. <laughs> and just ask Sandy. Size does count. Sandy, is there any chance you can reach out and pat a shark? They just keep on coming right near me. What are you doing to them? They smell fear, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got my pound in first drawer. It's good, isn't it? Sandy, how does it feel? You are uh, inches away from your greatest fear. How are you handling it? Um, After having Drew, Lee and Colin circling her for three months, you'd think Sandy would be more prepared for anything. Uh, there's very few people I've had in here that were as scared as Sandy was when she first did this. And, uh, and she did real well. Well really done, well. Sandy. Maybe you'll handle those predators back at the house a little better. Tonight, Lee's already on the hunt after one of Joss's best friends. Evidently, he's been doing a bit of flashing to impress her. And I'd hate to cut a grass, even with his Scottish skin. And he told me earlier that he wants her. He wants her. You I don't lie. I don't lie. Just there. That wasn't you a lie. Liar. Lee told me that if there was any woman in the world liar. that fits him perfectly, Joss is the one. <laughs> nah, somehow I don't think so. And he said, me even Joss. when me she Joss couldn't speak and she was drunk and not comprehending anything and not speaking clearly, Lee found it so attractive. <laughs> And it, yeah. he said to me, it must be love, Gemma. Feel it must it was. be love. Sounds like there'll be no grass cutting tonight. Um, I was waiting for a bus. And there's a, a toilet just near the bus stop at Narrabeen. And I went inside and there he was, jacking off, <laughs> singing the end songs. That's pretty standard, isn't it, for his behaviour? And I fell in love straight away. Mmm, <laughs> with friends like this, who needs enemies? Guess they're just jealous of that body that's got all the female fans ringing in. So, here it is. Lee as captured by the internet cameras. Actually, in three months, he's the only one we caught out. And we caught him again. And again. A house visitor came back for a second look. And this time, Lee didn't spot Joss in the top corner, but she saw him and bolted. Hello, Australia. I'm Bob Darwin. This is my special little friend, Paul McDermott. Can you not touch me? Don't all touch me. right, all right. And right. Tuesday night, 7.30 on 10, we'll be your hosts for the 1999 You Are a Music Award. With special guests, Mel C. Hey, I always wanted to be polyester. Oh, nice. Garbage, Powder Finger, Spider Bay, Taxi Ride, The Tea Party. Kate Sobrano, Tim Friedman. But what about Sherbet Hush and Skyhawk? I'm not around anymore. Oh. The 1999 You Are a Music Award. Tuesday night, 7.30 on 10. Ooh, top spunk. We all know how good orange juice is for you. Today, Brand Power looks at something even more nutritious. New Berry Plus, with the added goodness of natural extracts, providing a convenient way to increase your family's daily intake of essential vitamins and nutrients. Take Berry Plus Calcium. It delivers 30% of the recommended daily intake of calcium in every 200 ml glass. Also look for Berry Plus Fibre and Berry Plus Vitamins A, C and E at your supermarket now. Brand Power, helping you buy better. She knows that life has its little ups and downs Like ponies on a merry-go-round She wears a gold ring on her finger And I'm so glad it's
cup noodles aren't only delicious, they come with a handy built-in shovel. Delicious magic cup noodles. When you need a little help, just use a little magic. It's a rubber room bondage night and Mistress Sabrina's getting Kelly into a lather of leather. Maybe Kelly's not as into the kinky sex scene as she thinks. But everyone else is impressed. You love it. That was sick. Oh, that was sick. Oh, please. Oh, no wonder I'm a heterosexual male. Oh. Drew's decided he's not into this either. Although Master Good Glove, MC for the fun and games, did try to get his interest. No, mate, I'm not actually. I've got enough shit in my life to excite me so far. When I get bored with what I've got, I'll, I'll look further. So what are you doing? But until I need to look further, I won't bother. But the rest of the guys are just a little intrigued in Master Good Glove's lifestyle. If Daddy C asked you to root him, would you root him? No, he's not good looking after me. Thank you. Ah, right, okay. See, there's a, always a reason for being ugly. So you're an animal. The question is, what does Master Goodglove have planned for the house? A big strong personality. You know, got nothing to wear. Let's make something for you to wear. So we can do that just by doing this. Funnily enough, it didn't take much to rope Sandy in for a few well-placed knots. Well, Goodglove reckoned they were well-placed. The other hellmates got tears in their eyes just watching. I'm doing push-ups. You're enjoying that? It's actually quite cool. Oh, no, don't do that. I'll see. I can't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Sarah. She's looking so cool. Oh, they're not. They don't know it, but Sandy and Good Glove have decided to put on a bit of an act. Try <laughs> this. He'll whip the post she's tied to and make the others think it's for real. It certainly fooled the boys. Can I do that with a bit of 4v2? The sun actually enjoying that. Enjoy this. Now it's my turn. I'm sure this can be just be frozen about there. Whack! But even the worldly Big Daddy C couldn't believe what they tried next. Oh, my God, that's going to hurt. Oh, no, that will hurt. I actually know it. That doesn't hurt. No, no, that just doesn't hurt. We had to do so soon. Good gloves got hurt pegged as an exhibitionist. Go, girl. That is fine. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, Ricky. That's it. Go, Ricky. <laughs> that one, that one, that one, that bottom one, that bottom one. Yeah. <laughs> take that one. Okay. Can you believe that? No. Five takes off the Now I'm turning. Now I'm turning. It's like the first bit's okay, but then when it actually kicks in, it hurts. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, Suddenly, Drew wants in on the games, but is he ready for Mistress Zen? So what are you here for, anyway? <laughs> what are you here for? You've been standing around like a match the whole time. You got it? Well, I reckon what, you need to be a domination. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Just go give it, baby. Does SM stand for sloppy manners? Drew obviously needs a lesson. Hang on, hang on. What the f*** are you doing? What the f*** are you doing? What are you doing here? All right? What are you doing here? Yeah. 
here. All right. You should try being polite, Drew. It works for Sandy. Yeah, I know other guys are doing for a job. I get to do it for a job. I used to do it for a job, too, and I know he's exactly like me. Okay, no worries. Okay. So, you're just going to watch tonight? Sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now the nipples are hurting. Yeah, sure. Yeah, really? They do. Oh. The pain and the sensual standards. Good. 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 You wouldn't do that? I certainly would not do that, and any um, female friend or male friend can't be think of that very same thing. Uh, no, I would not uh, let that happen to anyone. What about you, Big Daddy C? Uh, no, and I think she's a loony tune for doing it. I think she's a loony tune anyway, and this just confirms that very fact. <laughs> Two giant episodes. I didn't take the picture. Who did? A monkey. One hilarious hour. A monkey took the picture. He must have skated by and grabbed the camera. A monkey on roller skates? At the special time of 8.30 Wednesday on 10, just shoot me. Looking good, Santa. Oh. Right, work. So yeah. Yep. It's like a Picasso. Better. That is art. Magic Cup Noodles aren't only delicious, they come with a handy built-in shovel. Delicious Magic Cup Noodles. When you need a little help, just use a little magic. Will you all shut up? The bridge has collapsed. Veer truck can't get through. You're joking! Where you go, mate? Hang on, lads. Might be long. New Ford Courier petrol and turbo diesel. More power and torque than ever before. Ford trucks. Have you taken any interest in the Republic debate, Rex? Oh, I reckon it's a bit like watching the grass grow, you know what I mean? But uh, as long as we're all OK, we're still a great nation. But uh, it's interesting to sort of hear you waffle on about it. <laughs> the panel Wednesday. The challenges are certainly getting harder in the house. A few weeks ago, all they had to eat was baked beans and prunes. And today, we've moved on to pig's blood milkshakes. Hell stunt number 700. It's a chance to win back the fines they lost by breaking house rules. Triple M roving reporter Togsy is in charge of making the ultimate Bloody Mary. Togsy, tell us what you're doing. Just uh, getting the right consistency right now with the blood and the milk. <laughs> Such a nice, healthy snack for the guys. As you can tell, I'm pretty good at this motion. Mm -hmm. It's not hard for you, is it? No, I've checked. It's not. Right. I'll hey, the big f***ing lumps in it. Oh, what's the lumps, man? Lee, you're helping out. What are you doing? Look at the lumps. What are they? I will. I want you to. <laughs> Tell you what I... Th <laughs> I've eaten kids shit, not purposely. As you're cleaning the kids and you're playing with them. That's filth. Straight in the mouth. <laughs> Tell you what, I don't want to get this stuff. <laughs> 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 I reach it. I don't even know what it is. It's Mmm, <laughs> pig's blood and milk. Yum. That's right. A schoonerful guaranteed to turn you off sculling for life. Oh, my stomach's turning already. I hope they like their milk red and their meat rare. He's going for a vomit. He's going for vomit. Hold on, Andrew. Don't vomit, Andrew. Get out of there. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh
be sick just watching Mate, Sandy. The girls are driving. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my God, we're Sandy. Sandy. Oh, oh, Sandy. Oh, 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 Your turn, Cole. Oh, come on, it's full of protein. Don't stand in front of me. Look at that grimace. OK, Daddy Sue, where you going, mate? Oh! It's the last night in the house. No power and nothing to do except stir Sandy. <laughs> we won't now fight anymore, but we just sort of thought we'd throw one on just before you left. <laughs> so, you're the f***ing shadow that was carrying on about Lee last night. Now, you know why? You know why I never said anything? Because if I ever said anything before, he's all going to deck me more than what you already decked me. But in the end, Lee's going to look like the f*** quit. And you already look like the f*** quit, Andrew, because people have seen it. People have come up and said, who's this f***ing old Tim Gabby guy? Why doesn't, yeah. he, go, why doesn't he go surf the f***? River. Yeah, so, you know. Kel oh, is wisely know. keeping out of it. She's having one of the worst days in the house yet. I'm just worried about Mum. She's really upset. What's happened? Her aunties just passed away. I was pretty close to. And um, yeah, I just... She's alone at the moment. And that sort of worries me. I'm sure she'll be all right. It's not what I needed right now. So glad we got the heater. <laughs> so glad we got it. Get a drink. It's a bit noisy, but that's why we had the towel around it. Haha, <laughs> 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 that was our hiding spot for the grog. Sucked in everybody in the house. No, 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 no. Gotchas. Before anyone can return to their homes and loved ones, the house has to go through a final inspection for cleanliness. The first thing tossed aside, the house from hell's rule list, a thorn in everybody's side. And after weeks of trying to get the hellmates' minds and bodies in shape, the Navy's back to ensure that the house is shipshape. Now, they've come on the beach. Right, so we're moving to the kitchen area here, Andrew. Okay, we're going to the oven here. Yeah, not too bad at all. Okay, we've got the wipes with Andrew and Sandy too, by the way, in the kitchen. Yeah, top of the rail, looking good so far. But no, what's this in the cupboard here, guys? What's this cocktail here? Yeah, remove it. Remove it before you need some of your money. Andrew, remove it! Okay, Andrew, we've gone through, mate. And the official uh, verdict is it's a P for pass. I wouldn't live here personally, but it's a P for pass. <laughs> This is a $5,000 day for the Hellmates, and some of them have makeovers for the occasion. Kelly's gone red. I feel rather dikey in this. Oh, it's damp. Yes, it does. The reflection with my hair. Joss has a new look too. Nothing like a born-again blonde do to wash three months in the house from hell away. Me and Joss have been best friends from day one. We always have been. Everybody's had their um, opinions and guesses and thoughts, but nah, just been best friends. Coming up next in the late news, a deadly house call, a doctor allegedly gunned down by an elderly patient, sparks calls for tougher security. No Gap Health Insurance, a major medical fund, leads the way. Also making news, another major setback for the Republican move, an extra reason to work hard when all the day's pro... ...trotter basketball babes bounce back. The late news is next here on 10. For every generation, there is a chosen one. Who are the chosen ones? He alone will stand against the forces of evil. This is the beginning of a better world for all of us. He is home of the great, Sunday on 10. Knock it off, Frank. Mm. Frank, please. Oh, 
drink. There is one show I like to watch a week. Let me watch it in peace, please. Hmm? Well, what about me, eh? Huh? What about Frank? Oh, no, don't worry about Frank. Frank will be all right. Frank will look after himself. I won't let you do this. You're not going to get away with it. Peters makes it better. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Dennis Quaid. Word of a dragon. It's worthless. And Sean Connery. I don't want to kill you. In Dragonheart, 8.30 Sunday. For the troops, and they've all made it, even TJ. It is going to haunt us for a little while longer, but essentially it's over. This lunch is just part of the farewell process. That's it. Three months of living hell are about to end with their first decent meal in 77 days. They're also hanging out to get their $5,000 and other promised prizes. TJ, it's not much, but it's something from all of us. But first, something for the house spy. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's why TJ refused to spend the last night in the house. I actually thought that you would gaff tape into the wall. And now, the moment they've been waiting for. Tangible proof they've survived the house from hell. Right, rub it in, Sandy. Seeing those Navy PT trainers at the farewell drinks might have rubbed her up the wrong way. So we thought, but in the end, um, give it a couple of days, and we come around, we were a bit softer on them, and it was more of a fun thing rather than a bastardisation, so to speak. Tony had a, uh, a, a few big run-ins with Sandy. He's got the, um, the egg story. Not the egg story. Remember, Sandy was absolutely certain she knew who'd played a practical joke and thrown eggs on her car. I asked Tony about the story about the uh, story of Sandy the next day. No. Do you want the real story or the, uh... <laughs> or the, uh... Do you the whole story, mate? Oh, the real story is... Uh, Sandy wanted an apology uh, about the eggs. Uh, here I am. Sorry, Sandy. Uh, everything turned out well. Your car's not hurt. Uh, and here it is. Publicly apologies. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, I won't do it. You'd better believe it. You see, the Hellmates have already got them back for messing Sandy's car. <laughs> and there's a special parting message waiting on the official Navy vehicle. Nothing like having four guys in a car with a just married sign. Back at lunch, Kelly has brought along a surprise guest, Mistress Sabrina. We don't have enough 
have shots of my tits, do we? <laughs> Actually, the surprise is on me. For, um, we don't leave you. Signing off. <laughs> no. Don't leave. And you <laughs> It's been Kelly's fantasy. Oh, no. Get in here. I'm still here, Amanda. And me, a happily married woman. <laughs> Funnily enough, Kelly doesn't seem too bothered. No sooner am I out of the cuffs than she's eyeing off another radio personality. Oh, really? How about that for endorsement? <laughs> Turn Kelly. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you actually have to do any work tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You guys going to miss each other? Tidy it up. In a way? Tidy it up. Real? Yeah. 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 Will they miss each other? Actually, they've got their own TV show to remind them exactly what each other's like. And we thought they'd like to watch the very first house from hell together. Oh, it's bad though, it's gonna get worse, I know that. I can't remember this. I just went down and pissed at We got the video camera going and everything here. or many other people that she was a lesbian before coming to the house from hell. Look at that. Check it out. Guess the secret's out now. Kelly was a late star. I think if there's a... He must have said that he can't s**t ...play that we're in, which it is a play of sorts. Um, <laughs> okay, well, this it is. Come down and drink a scooter and work <laughs> We have to make Drew, who's sleeping downstairs, um, get up, answer the phone. <laughs> We're doing this at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah, like... Sandy particularly liked the parts where she mixed it with the boys. Sing with me. Don't mess with me. Would you like to be friends? Yeah, whatever. Would you like so to be funny. Whatever. Whatever. This is good, actually. This is good. That's fine. Yeah. Would you like to be friends? Yeah, whatever. Would you like to be friends? This is good. I like this. This is good. Like this. This is good. This is good. And besides, this was just the first episode. They know there's much, much worse to come. Of course, that's before the happy ending. Well, yes. Love it. She finally got a ride in the Well, it's now a year on, and you're probably asking yourself, where are they now? How did their 15 minutes and three months of fame affect their lives? Have they stayed in touch? Do any of them even talk to each other? We've got the Hellmates back together to answer all this and more. So make sure you join us for the House from Hell reunion special coming very soon. Somewhere between Forever and today the morning somewhere between forever and today forever and today forever and today what's that I hear you say all the words in all the world can change the way I feel today. Finally got a ride in the pouring rain from the freaks in the van with the leather and chains. She lived in the back and she hardly spoke. At least she made it home. Calling up dreams from where you left them in the morning. Somewhere between Forever and today Forever and today Forever
kids when they need help. It's about my friend Sam. Please give to the Kids Helpline. Call 1800 552 October 16 and 17, the 1999 on the Gold Coast Indies. Live on 10. Late News with Natasha Belling. Heading tonight's Late News, an inquiry begins into a police shooting that's left a young man dead. GP shocked and angry after a colleague shot dead during a house call. And Olympic ticket sales under fire again. Critics say it isn't fair. Good evening. First tonight, an inquiry is underway into the police shooting in Adelaide that's left a young man dead. It's understood he charged at police with a knife during a service station robbery. An horrific end to what started as a simple police call-out. Just after 11, a man wielding a knife visited several petrol stations on busy Marion Road. He wasn't intending to rob them, but asked the attendants to call police. The confrontation in a hotel car park watched by dozens of patrons. And then when he got just around the corner, he started running at the officer as fast as he could, and then the officer pulled out his gun. He was like this, facing it on the guy, telling him to freeze, stop screaming out words to drop the weapon. Then some more coppers went there, tried to say, get down, get down, get down. He wouldn't get down. And next to me, he had this big bang, and that was it. All over, he fell down like a bag of shit. Quite sure he got shot through the chest. Around here, it must have hit an artery or something, because a lot of blood squirted out. Witnesses say the police officer who fired the shot dropped to the ground holding his head visibly devastated. He's now in hospital being treated for shock. Any police officer involved in any incident like this would be um, feeling pretty, um, you know, it would be a very traumatic event for them. This is the second fatal police shooting in Adelaide in three months. Unlike most, this was watched from all angles. I was just upset because of what I'd seen, you know. The police commissioner says officers are trained to use weapons only as a last resort. I believe that we have a very good firearms practices. However, we uh, always look at best practice and we're currently going through a fairly significant review. A commissioner's inquiry into the shooting is underway. Chelsea Lewis, 10 News. A man's been charged over the shooting death of a doctor making a house call. The death has sent shockwaves through the medical profession, sparking calls for tougher security. The community shattered by the brutal slaying of their doctor, Peter Anderton. The father of four was allegedly gunned down yesterday afternoon by his own patient, an elderly Forestfield man he'd gone to help. Just knowing him um, in the community doing what he's been doing for so many years, it's what a waste. What a waste. It was a routine house call to 74-year-old Pearl Marino Zappa Costa, which cost the doctor his life. Police claim the elderly man chased him around the property with a shotgun before opening fire. Dr Anderton was found dead on the front lawn with gunshot wounds to his chest and head. Zappa Costa appeared in court this morning. The motive for the killing still unclear. Charged with causing unlawful grievous bodily harm, the accused was not required to enter a plea today. He was instead remanded in custody to a psychiatric hospital for assessment. While the charge may be upgraded to murder, the tragedy has raised security concerns for house call doctors. I would suggest that uh, a lot of doctors will be rethinking home visits. Alison Blanksby, 10 News. Adelaide police have seized a gun which could have been used in the execution of two members of the Rebels motorcycle gang. It follows the arrest of a 30-year-old man last night. These pictures show police arresting one of the three men wanted over the bikey killings in Adelaide. The 30-year-old was arrested at a northeastern suburb's doctor's surgery last night. He was later charged with two counts of murder and three of attempted murder. The man is now in police custody. Security here at the Adelaide Magistrates Court will be upgraded for the 30-year-old's court appearance on Monday. And this afternoon, detectives stopped a car on Foster's Road. It's understood a gun was found inside, which could be one of the pistols used in the killings. 
Police are still searching for two men, associates of the Hells Angels motorcycle gang, over the killings of two Rebels members early yesterday morning. In all, five Rebels were gunned down outside their clubhouse. Last night, police raided this house at Windsor Gardens. One man was questioned. The house and a number of vehicles were searched. Police have again appealed for the remaining two men to give themselves up and have warned associates not to help them stay on the run. We are confident that we will be able to uh, get a breakthrough uh, on this matter uh, quite soon. Three members of the Rebels motorcycle gang remain in hospital after the ambush. One is in a critical condition and two others have serious injuries. Mark Adenall, 10 News. A horrid 24 hours on Victoria's roads. A 43-year-old man and an 8-year-old boy were killed when their motorcycle ran off a road at Tooton in central Victoria this afternoon. And police are still trying to identify the male driver of a vehicle which crashed in Melbourne. Police allege the man was driving a stolen station wagon which smashed into a tree in the city's south early this morning. He was of slim build and about 175 centimetres tall with brown hair. And a motorcyclist was killed when... The new, more powerful Honda CRV. The most versatile car you'll see on TV. Play on for the car. I will. He's coming back. What an idea. I have something very special for you. 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 Venga Boys, the party album. Now only $24.95 with three exclusive Australian only bonus tracks. The party album, featuring all the Venga Boys smash hit singles, including Up and Down, We Like to Party, Boom, 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 and the new single, We're Going to Ibiza. We're going to Ibiza. Now also features a Venga Boys mega mix by Nick Skits. Venga Boys, the party album. What more could you want? Beware by the original. Buy now and no deposit with no interest and no repayments for 12 months at Harvey Norman. Buy a TV, video, stereo, camcorder, fridge, freezer.